let's first try to understand what is algebra and then we'll move on to algebraic expressions so algebra is a branch of mathematics which uses letters and symbols to represent the unknown quantities an algebraic expression is an expression which is built by combining numbers and variables in the form of alphabets or symbols using the arithmetic operators like subtraction addition multiplication and division some of the examples are written here like 5x plus 3y plus 4 7p raised to power 5 plus 6pq plus 9 and so on these are the examples of algebraic expression wherein you will see that the numbers are combined with the variables like x y p and q etc to form these expressions let's now try to understand the different components of the algebraic expressions different parts of the expressions which are added together are called terms terms are only added together so it's very important to understand that even if you see a subtraction happening then the negative sign which is which you see is actually taken as a part of the term so we say that a positive term and a negative term are added together So if you look at this example, there's an expression saying 2x square plus 3xy plus 9. And in these, three, there are three terms. We can clearly see that 2x square is one term which is added to another term 3xy and that is added to another term 9. Now 2x, 2x square is a term which contains a variable x. 3xy is another term which contains two variables x and y. And 9 is a term which is actually constant. It does not have a variable along with it. And the coefficients here are 2 and 3. So all the alphabets that are used in this expression are variables. If we change this, this equation to 2x square minus 3xy plus 9, then the terms would be 2x square and minus 3xy and 9 and these three terms are actually added together so it is important to understand that in an expression the terms are only added together there are no subtractions happening in the terms within a term numbers and variables are combined together using multiplication or division operation so we are saying in the term 2x square in this term 2x square we see that a number 2 is multiplied with the variable x second power of x in this case so continuing with the components of algebraic expression each term can therefore be termed as the product of factors 3xy in the above expression can be said to be a product of 3x and y and the variables here in, in this picture that you might be thinking that you know why is this picture coming up with uh, in the algebraic expressions so what we're trying to do is that the different components shown in this picture are compared to different variables that we may have the numeric factors in each term are called the coefficients in this example 2x square plus 3xy plus 9 we have 2 and 3 as the coefficients of x square and xy respectively the terms which do not have any variable in them is called a constant term so in the above expression we had 9 as the constant friends now let's try and understand the difference between like and unlike terms the terms which have same algebraic factors are called like terms we'll take an expression as an example 3xy plus 4x minus 7xy plus 2 now in the in these these two terms 3xy and minus 7xy these two terms if we consider the factors for term 3xy the factors are 3x and y and for the term minus 7xy the factors are minus 7x and y so we can see here that the algebraic factors of both these terms are x and y so these are like terms the numeric factors of the two are different in one case it is 3 in the other case it is minus 7 but the numeric factor 
does not decide the term to be like term or unlike term it is only the algebraic factors which will be the deciding factor so in this case the algebraic factors being the same these are like terms now let's see what are unlike terms the terms which have different algebraic factors they are called unlike terms and when we say different we, what we mean to say is that they may have one or two common algebraic factors but all the factors are not the same so that is where we call them unlike terms let's take an example here of the same expression in this case if we take the term 3xy and 4x so we'll see that the factors for minus for 3xy are 3x and y whereas the factors for 4x are 4 and x so now since the algebraic factors of the first two terms are different because in one case the factors are x and y and in the other case the factor is only x so these are unlike terms although they have a common factor x but the algebraic factor y is not present for the term 4x so they are unlike terms now let's try and understand monomials binomials and polynomials you you must have heard of these terms you might not have used them as such now let's try and understand what are these expressions containing only one term with a non zero coefficient are called monomials now this is important first of all the expression should have only one term and that term should have a non zero coefficient so if we have an have an expression of the type 0x that will not be considered as monomial because the only term that we are mentioning here has zero coefficient so terms like 5x square 9y cube 3z 4 etc are all monomials and note here that even 4 is a monomial because it does not although it does not have a variable but it's it is one term with a non zero coefficient expressions containing two terms with non zero coefficients are binomials again you know it has to have non zero coefficients here examples are 5x square plus 9y cube 3x square minus 7z 2x plus 6 all of them have two terms and both the terms have non zero coefficient so if we take 9x square plus 0y cube it will not be a binomial because 0y cube is essentially zero it is not a term so the only term would be 5x square so that would be that would come under the category of monomials now expressions containing one or more terms with non zero coefficients with the exponent of the variable being non negative are called polynomials now here we have two important things first is that first is that it should be non zero coefficient and the second thing is that the exponent of the variable should be non negative so that means it should have more than one one or more terms with non zero coefficients which is like monomial and binomial also satisfy that criteria and the exponent of the variable is non negative it could be zero it could be any positive number but it cannot be negative so they are called polynomials the example is 9x square plus 9 5x square plus 9y cube 3x square minus 7z etc now try and understand here 2x raised to power minus 4 plus 6y minus 8 or any uh, expression like 1 by x plus 4 4x these are not polynomials because they have a negative exponent of the they have a negative exponent of for the variable x so here if we are saying 1 by x this is equivalent to saying x raised to power minus 1 so these are not polynomials now how do we find the value of an expression we can uh, as we said you know algebraic expression is something that contains a variable and that variable can take any value depending upon the context of the mathematical problem so we can find the value of an expression 
only if the value of variable is given to us because that is that would mean that we are given the value of that variable in that mathematical context and that is where we can find out the value of the expression again in that context we can find the value of the expression by replacing the variable with its value now let's see it how do we do that with an example for example we have an expression of the type 3x square minus 4y now we are supposed to find the value of an exp of this expression when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 and note that these two things are given to us these two things are provided to us in a particular context so now let's replace the values of x with 2 and y to with 1 so it make 3x square becomes 3 into 2 square minus 4 into y being replaced by 1 we say 4 into 1 so this becomes 3 into 4 minus 4 that is 12 minus 4 that gives us the value of this expression as 8 when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 now please note that this expression will have different values depending upon the different values of x and y so this expression is equal to 8 only when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 if we interchange the value of x and y let's say we take x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 then we put that value in this expression and we say it becomes 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 2 that is 3 minus 8 and the value of the expression will become minus 5 now let's try to understand where are the algebraic expression used we use them very much in our daily lives let's take a few example from our daily life to understand how do we actually use them first of all supposing you need to go to the market and get two pen one eraser five sheets five color pens how do you calculate the money that you need for this we can create an expression of the type a 2p where p is the cost of the pen plus e where e is the cost of the eraser plus 5s where s is the cost of the sheet plus 5c where c is the cost of the color pens and that will give you the total cost now supposing last minute you decide that you want to take a different pen you don't want to take the pen that you decided to take in the beginning now you want to change the pen that you want to take so now the expression remaining the same just change the value of the p to the new value and then you'll get the tot total cost using the same expression so that is one of the applications where you will see that you use algebraic expressions in our day to day life let's look at another example say for example you have five squares two rectangles and a circle of given dimensions which are to be painted now how do you find out the total area which needs to be painted so that you can decide on how much paint do you need to get now first of all if you have to find out the area of the square that itself is an expression when we say area of the square is equal to a square similarly finding the areas of rectangle and circle itself is a expression now finding the total area we make an expression of the type 5a square where a is the side of the square plus 2lb where lb are the length and breadth of the rectangle plus pi r square where r is the radius of the circle so now using this expression you can find out the total area and then find out how much paint is required to paint that much area let's take another example to get more clarity on the usage of algebraic expressions say for example on your birthday you want to party with your friends at the school canteen now you can only take a fixed amount of money to the school because your school has a maximum cap of how much money can be taken they allow you to take say for example 200 rupees to the school at the most now how do you calculate what snacks can be taken for the party for how many friends now you can create an expression say for example you decide you want to take five friends along with you and you decide that per person you want to buy juice ice cream or maybe some snacks and then find out using the expression where that much whether you can get all of that and that much money and if you can do that and then finally you decide oh i'm left with some money and i really want to get two more friends of mine into the party you can you can involve them also you can call them for your party and then if again you know you using those expressions you could also decide what you want to add to your party or if you can remove one of the things to the party and you can add more friends to it uh, to it to make it more fun 
so those are the kind of things that can be handled using expressions and of course there are many more examples from our daily life where we keep using expressions without actually knowing that we're using them friends i hope you enjoyed the session if you find it useful please like it and share it with your friends you can visit us at our cool smart learning website and post your queries there and please subscribe to the cool smart learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions thank you